boring book. You keep turning the pages and it's misery. What is this book about? What is happening? Why is the author torturing me? This is something you want to avoid when you're writing your own story. You want to hook your reader. My good friend Shannon Didimore wrote the Angel Eyes trilogy and it's amazing. You must read it. Angel Eyes. She has a little sign next to her desk that says, make them care. And ever since I heard her tell me about that, I loved it. I keep thinking about it. I need to get my own sign. The reason why that sign is so great is because it's a reminder of the whole point of what we're doing as writers. We want to entertain people. We want them to care about the characters we love. That's not always an easy thing to do. First, you have to make your character likable. Most readers don't want to read about people that are nasty, that we hate. It's just not fun. We want to like that main character. So even if you're writing this kind of a anti-hero, dastardly person, give us a little something to make us like him. Give us that moment where we see him help the old lady across the street, that save the cat moment. Save the cat moment. This is a screenwriting term coined by author Blake Snyder in his book, Save the Cat. It's basically a moment that an author puts into the story to make the main character likable. Harrison Ford's character in the movie The Fugitive gives us a good example of a save the cat moment. While he's running from U.S. Marshals, having been wrongfully convicted of murdering his wife, he stops to save the life of a boy in a hospital who'd been misdiagnosed. We already like Dr. Richard Kimball, but after this scene, we like him even more. Once you have your likable character, then you need to give them a problem to solve. If your character doesn't have a problem to solve, you don't have a story. You need to give your character something to do and not just paint their fingernails or go to basketball practice. They need to have some sort of goal, something they want, and there's an obstacle in the way. Put lots of obstacles in the way of that goal, and that makes it all of a sudden a challenge for your main character. And as we're reading, we're like, ooh, is this person going to succeed? The story problem can be something as simple as making it onto the basketball team or into the school play. Or it could be something bigger, like an epic quest, or a relentless threat is coming after your character, or maybe they're in an impossible no-win situation. These kinds of things really up the stakes. It makes things interesting. It makes your reader care.